What's going on everybody? So today, it's a pretty gloomy day outside and we're actually due for another storm. So today, we're just gonna talk about five things that were in older cars that I really think should make a comeback in new cars. Now, before I get started, I will just say this is strictly my personal opinion. If you disagree with what I picked or you can think of something else that should make a comeback, then great, feel free to leave a comment, but there's no need to be a troll. So the first thing older cars have that new cars don't that I really think should make a comeback, black bumpers. And the reason I say black bumpers is because my first car was a 1990 Toyota Camry that had black bumpers. And when you're cleaning and detailing, you can just throw some black magic on the bumpers and they look great. So, less maintenance. Also with black bumpers, if you get any scratches or any scuffs, they clean up easier. Here is a 92 Honda Civic with color keyed bumpers. And right here is some pretty good damage to the paint. The only way to really fix that is to remove the whole bumper and repaint the whole thing. With black bumpers, if the scratches or scuffs are bad enough, you can just sand them down, throw some black magic over them, and after that, you never know. Sometimes simple is better. The next thing older cars have that new cars don't that I really think should make a comeback, fold away headlights. I personally just think that was pretty cool looking. Turn the lights on, the headlights pop out. Turn the lights off, headlights hide away. The next thing that I really think should make more of a comeback, wood dash. Now yes, I am aware there are still cars that either offer or come with wood dash. So before you get into the comments section and start talking about my car from 2015 has wood dash, you're not that bright, are you? You should really learn how to start a car before you start making videos on them with a bunch of expletives. I mean, yeah, thanks ahead of time for that. Yes, I know there are cars that still offer or come with wood dash, but it's not as big as it once was. In the 70s, 80s, and 90s, wood dash was a much bigger thing. I've actually seen wood dash in Ford Mustangs, if you can believe that. Actually, here's an 83 Toyota pickup that has wood dash. And as you can see, crank windows, and literally nothing else fancy on this truck. I'm not gonna lie, I just really love wood dash. I just think it makes the interior of pretty much any car pop. And I know, especially for my generation, I'm in the minority on that one, but I like it. I like wood dash so much, I put it in a 2001 Toyota Corolla. It's pretty hard to have wood dash in a car and not have it look good, in my opinion. Okay, and while we're here, next thing that older cars have that new cars don't that I think should make a comeback colored interiors. I just think it gives the vehicle more character. Having a blue vehicle with a blue interior. Or even a green car with a green interior, white car with a red interior, you get the idea. With a lot of cars, no matter what color it is, you oftentimes get the same black interior, which I mean is fine. Black interior looks good on some cars, but you know, there's nothing wrong with giving them some color. And then the last and final thing that old cars have that new cars don't that I really think should make a comeback, glass headlights. I know I've covered this in another video, and I'll go ahead and leave the link to that video in the description, but I say glass headlights for one main reason. Plastic headlights fog up something horrible when they get older. They become less efficient at night, and over time they just don't look good. This Mustang is 42 years old, and as you can see, the headlights still look great. This Grand Marquis is 17 years old, headlights look like crap, and at night they don't shine as bright. So I stand by it, give me glass headlights. Also, wood dash and a Mustang for those of you who didn't believe me. And we finished this video just in time because the junkyard is now closing. It's five o'clock and they're kicking people out. And don't forget, new videos every Sunday. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also make sure you hit that bell so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys next week.